So what is the path of a horizontally launched projectile? An example of a horizontally launched projectile would be something like rolling a ball off of a table. When I roll the ball, it is launched through the air and gravity then begins to pull it down. So here's a ball rolling off of a table. And if we take a cartoon view, like Wile E. Coyote running off of a cliff, well, Wile E. Coyote runs off the cliff, eventually realizes he's not on the cliff, and then gravity pulls him straight down. And we know that that doesn't happen. A misconception people have, a very, very common re uh, a misconception, is that an object will actually travel on a straight line towards the ground. That doesn't happen because, remember, AX is equal to zero, so the ball will travel at a constant speed horizontally, but it'll accelerate down in a downward direction. So those two parts of the motion occur at the same time. What happens in the X direction occurs at the same time as the object moves in the Y direction. And that causes a curved path like this. So what I've done is I've drawn that curved path and I want to analyze the velocities in the X and Y direction. So a couple of things. First of all, I've drawn an, a ball which is just simply dropped. So there's no horizontal motion, it's just vertical motion. So gravity pulls the object down and as we know, when you drop an object, gravity will cause the object to accelerate. So imagine this is a strobe photo where the photos are taken, say, one-tenth of a second. So after one-tenth of a second, we're here. Two-tenths, three-tenths, four-tenths, five-tenths of a second. And we see that in between each photo, the space increases, which tells us this object is accelerating downward. Now, if we look at our projectile, which is launched, which follows that red line, that's that curved path, it, it is a parabola. Um, we see that in the first second, the object makes it to this position, which is just like the falling object. So I, I said first second, I meant first tenth of a second. So the strobe photo here, in one tenth of a second, we get at this position. Well, that's as if we just dropped it. Two tenths of a second, well, as, again, as, as if we just dropped it. Three tenths of a second, four tenths of a second, five tenths of a second. And you see the amount that the object falls is identical to as if we just dropped the object. Now here's an interesting thing. Look at the travel in the X direction. In one tenth of a second, the object goes from this horizontal position to here, and it covers that distance. And in two tenths of a second, it covers twice that distance. And in three tenths of a second, three times that distance, and four times that distance, and five times that distance. That tells me that the horizontal motion here, since you're covering the same distance in the same amount of time, the horizontal distance is at, uh, sorry, the horizontal motion is at constant speed. So a projectile moves at constant speed in the horizontal, but accelerated motion in the vertical.